in this video we are going to talk about how to add and subtract set by using a pure past question so here's the question the question says that find the value of y if you have root 24 plus root 96 minus root 600 is equal to y root 6 so how do you solve this type of problem over here now remember that in mathematics there's a law governing everything is that okay so that's the one thing you have to pay attention that's the most important thing you have to have let's just call it a tools or an ingredient used to prepare something so you must have the ingredients at your disposal and then second you must know how to use it so let's look at the tools that you need to solve this type of problem over here of course you have your addition and subtraction so you have to know how to add and subtract set that is most important thing. if you haven't watched that video on how to add and subtract as well as multiply you may consider watching that video and come and continue but in, in summary in summary so these are the tools that we, we, we need to solve this type of problem over here so one thing you must know that you must know what a perfect squares are and as well as how to add and subtract set and the basic form of set is that okay so those are the tools that you need to solve this type of problem so i will start with the basic form of of a set when you say something is in its basic form it means that when you pick that thing you cannot do anything about it again simple and short is that okay so the simple form so assuming i'm having uh one over so let's make it two over four is that okay we are dividing two items among four people right so in this case we can still reduce this one to what the simple form or the basic form so here two going to itself one then two will go here how many times two so the answer here the final answer here is what? two over four this is something that we call the basic form is that okay so when i pick this thing i cannot do anything about it the only thing i can do here is that you convert it to a decimal so it's the same thing just a vice versa right so that is the simplest form of what this type of what problem over here so let's look at the simple form of what a set so the simple form of a set is 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 when you cannot do anything about it again so what i mean by that is that assuming we are having root root uh, root 2 here right so when you look at this root 2 here you can see that the root 2 you cannot do anything about the root 2 again right you cannot expand this thing again is that okay so that is the simple the basic form of, of set something that i'm talking about so uh, of course uh root root three is also the same thing right so let's let's have a root four what do you think root four here it will give me two we will have a look at that in just in the simple uh, in, in in a few minutes is that okay so the simple form of what i said is that you may consider knowing a prime number so when i talk of prime number that and that start from two three uh five and so on and so on and so forth so a square root of prime numbers give us what the basic form is that okay so that is one thing anytime you come across questions on that said you have to make sure that before you proceed your manipulations the numbers that we are dealing with are in the our basic form before you continue that is one thing you have to pay attention to so we use the example to demonstrate that very soon let's also have a look at the perfect square so what are what, what do you call perfect square so that is one thing we do on this channel where we help you understand the meaning behind the name but not just the name is that okay so a perfect square so what are perfect squares so when you say a perfect square so when i give them a, a human character so i may say that who are perfect square is that okay or what do you call a perfect square so in my opinion the perfect square here is 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 a number a number that when you take a square root of that number must give you a whole a whole number is that okay so when i pick uh let 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 let, let me explain that so let's forget a mathematics term and explain that so assuming for you to get, grab that that definition of a perfect square number very quickly so what i do is that at least in my opinion what i do is that at least the numbers are starting from two three right four five and so on and so forth is that okay so this is what i do so when i have something like this what, what, what do you have to do when i square this one when i square this one what i mean by squaring it is that it's two times two is that okay that will give you four 
so here will also give me what uh, three times three that will give me what nine is that okay so here will give me what 16 and then 25 and so on so these numbers when i take a square root of these numbers they are what what we call a perfect square in my opinion is that okay so you can list them down so maybe from two three four five six and so on and so forth then just square it what i mean by square is that the number times itself is that okay so here will give me four here what this place will give me what nine here will be what 16 25 and then 36 and so on and so forth is that okay just take a square root of these numbers right take a square root of what these numbers over here. so let's have a look at you have to take a square root of these numbers so a square root of four is a perfect number the reason is that you see this small thing here we call it a square root or a radical this thing will help us split this one into two by by assumption is that okay so when i split this one into two it will come back to what two over here so when i split this one this root nine to two to give me what three have you see that i'm having a whole number a whole number here so it means that these numbers they are what perfect for squares is that okay so that is one thing you also have to pay attention to now uh, so uh, comment below comment what about this one uh, a root of uh, 36 is that okay this one will give me what so comment down below all right so let, let, let's continue now we, we can proceed if you have any problem you, you may give us a comment in the comment section below so or, or you may consider joining our whatsapp group whereby we interact to you one on one for any any issues now let's dive into the problem now we have the tools at our disposal right you, have, you must know a perfect square you must know how to add and subtract which we have a look at in a few minutes and then the basic form of a, offset as well so now let, let, okay let me let me explain the addition and the subtractions of what i said even though you have a video on that you may consider watching that so in, 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 in no time let's let, let's check that so if you want to add and subtract a set assuming this is a set that i'm having right root 2 plus what uh 2 root uh root 2 is that okay i want to add these two things what how, how do you add the, the way you add is that you add outside to outside what i mean by outside to outside the number attached to the set right so this is what we call a set is that okay so outside to outside right so this one give me two plus two it's a law you must obey it it's okay there's a law in everywhere so you must obey the law and know how to use it but the, the law says that if you want to add or subtract this this rules hold for addition and subtract as well so if you want to add and subtract you have to make sure that the number under the radical this is what i mean here the number this number and this one the two things or three things or more that you are combining by addition and subtraction the number under this one has to be what equal if they are not equal you cannot add or subtract them just obey this law and move on is that okay this is just a simple law if the number under the radical here the here are the same then you can add or you can subtract if they are not then you cannot add or subtract so how do you add after finding that you have to know how to add how do you add you add by what adding the outside to outside or subtract the outside to outside and then you repeat one of the square roots it's okay so this one will be something of this nature so here will give me what four root root two this is how we add very very simple like that and the same applies to the subtraction so if the numbers under the square root sign are not the same then you find a way to manipulate it so that you arrive at the simple form i've already explained that whereby you can check whether the number under the radicals are the same is that okay if they are not then you leave them as it is so let's check our example here so this is a pure pass question let's check let's check that so here 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 is the question the question says that uh find the values of y if you have root of 24 plus what root 96 minus root 600 is equal to y root 6 is that okay now let's check the solution what do you have to do you have to see that these guys are not in their simple form you can still do something about it and how do you do that you find out the perfect square from this number is that okay the highest perfect square from this number so you may consider listing them down so that will be from 4 uh, 4 9 16 25 and so on and so forth is that okay okay now you split this this 24 root 24 okay let's dive into the solution i'm having what uh let me explain the the, the question here so they say you should find the value of y is that okay so you pick the left hand side is that okay they said the, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side 
So you pick the left hand side, work on that. The answer that you get, then you compare that. Which one is attached to what? Rusis. Or what is the friend? Or who is the friend of what? Rusis, right? Anybody that is close to Rusis is the value of Y. Is that okay? So you pick the what? The right, uh, the, sorry, the left hand side and work on that. So let's pick the left hand side. I'm having a root 24 plus what? Root 96 minus what? Root 600. Is that okay? Now your first step is to check whether the numbers are in their basic form, right? Can you do something about it? If you can do something about it, then it is not in basic form. If you cannot, then it means that what? It is what? In basic form. Of course, this 20, 24 here, we can find some perfect number, right? Perfect square number out of the 24. So this is how it works. You find the highest perfect, highest perfect what? square number. Of course, that will give us 4. Is that okay? 4 times 6. We are just splitting this number into 2. The idea is that you should get a perfect square from what the two numbers that we are multiplied to get this, right? The highest one. So when I pick four, four is the highest one, right? When I go for the next perfect square number, that will give me uh, uh, nine. So I, I cannot get any number that when I multiply nine by it will give me twenty-four. Is that okay? That is why four came with what the highest perfect number. So the same applies to the rest of the three. So here you have to write a perfect number first. Have you see? That's why I'm having the, the, the blue marker over here. You can see that so four times so the perfect square number has to come first, right? There's a reason for that. So four times six will give us so 24. Here to the same thing, you have to look for the highest perfect or squares number, right? I'm having a 16 multiplied by what? Uh root six, sorry, 16 multiplied by six, right? That will give me a 96. And here automatically 100 multiplied by what six that will give us what 600. We are not doing anything, but we are just splitting this number into two. So the two numbers that we get, we must make sure that one of them is what a perfect squares number, and that perfect square number has to come first. Is that okay? That's just a simple law. Obey that, right? Okay. Now after doing that, your next step will be what uh, you must you split this one into two. Is that okay? So even though they are all under the radical, can you see that? These two guys are under the radical, so this is what I'm calling what, the radical over the set so sign over or the square root sign. So you, you, you split that one into two, gives me root four times what, root six. I'm not doing anything, I'm just splitting this one into two, right? And the same applies to what the rest of the two. So I'm having 16, root 16 times what, root what, uh, six. Assuming everybody must have their own what, rooms, is that okay? So uh, root 16 times what, root six, and then minus what root 100 times what root 6 over here so what do you do the idea for perfect number here here is it can you see that when I, when I take a square root of 4 that has to give me 2 is that okay that is the reason why you should get a perfect what square number from what the numbers that you are splitting right so here the square root of 4 will give me what 2 you can see with what the blue marker is that okay so the square root of 4 gives me 2 and then 2 times root 6. So the second one, you cannot do anything about that. You cannot get any perfect number out of this. Is that okay? So the same applies to the rest of the two. So root 16 will give me what, a 4 here. And then root 100 or root 100 will give me what, 10. Is that okay? So we are just repeating the second one. You can see that when you split, you have to make sure that 1 is a perfect number and then 1 is what? already in its basic form whereby you cannot do anything about it okay? now when, when you multiply you consider 2 is multiplying root 6 that will give me what 2 root 6 plus here will be what 4 root 6 and then minus what here will be 10 root 6 is that okay now you ask yourself if you are adding and subtracting can you add and subtract these things that is the question you should be asking yourself can you add them and then the answer should be when do you add and subtract is that okay you only add and subtract if the numbers under the radicals are, are the same is that okay if the numbers under the radicals are the same that is the only time you can add and subtract if they are not the same leave it as it is if you can do something about it if you can split the numbers that is fine if you cannot just leave it it's a law right so perfect as you can see you're having that uh, six six here six here so we can proceed by what adding and what subtracting is that okay and how do you add and subtract you move on with what the outside number. this is what i'm calling the outside number so you can see that with the, the blue the blue marker or the blue pen over here so i'm having two plus what four minus ten so exactly what i'm having here sorry here has to be ten yeah yeah here has to be minus what ten 
can you see that so yeah of course so this one will change is that okay this one has to change over here so this plus this will give me six and then six minus this one that should be what, uh, minus four is that okay so minus four over here so therefore y yeah, y here will be equal to minus four of course right so outside to outside right so i'm having two plus four and so thing then you repeat one of the the rule but maybe that is the reason why they say you have to make sure that the numbers under the radical sort has to be the same is that okay by assumption in my opinion right just for understanding purpose if it makes sense fine if it doesn't make sense maybe yours is to learn the rule and pass your assumption and move on to the next level of education and leave this thing for the advanced mathematician whereby they can apply the theorem so and I said it's very useful in, in engineering aspect whereby the user to make an accurate or calculation in construction of the bridge and so on and so forth. Is that okay? Maybe at your level, if it doesn't make sense, just learn and pass and move on to the next level of your education. Is that okay? As you can see, so from the question, we are told that we should find the value of y. So anybody that is attached to y, sorry, that is attached to root c is what we are looking for. Is that okay? So after solving our way or performing our calculation, we can see that here, here is what minus four, right? Here is minus four. So minus four is a to what root six. Exactly what we are looking for. Therefore, our y value is equal to what uh, minus four. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then join our WhatsApp group for any interaction. If you have any problem, just leave a comment below. We are ready to help you wherever you are. Thanks for watching.